Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 13. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now for the Class E International Tour, and we're going to be taking the Fiat 1 through 1 of Bath. Uh, we're starting off with Mazda Raceway, then Indianapolis, Silverstone, Suzuka, Sebring, Road Atlanta, and then Infinium Raceway. Let's get going. Let's go to Fabio, is that it? No. It's somewhat unique in terms of design, but it's still not at the same time. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? What's going on? Mad world. Jesus Christ, the Toyota's going for the dive bomb on the Beetle. And we're going on the dive bomb for the Toyota. Ah! Ah, the Citroen's gone wide. There we go, we're up the inside. Put your shins on those exhausts. Exactly. Stick out like crazy. <laughs> VW's just like, can I copy my homework? Skoda. Yes, but change it a little bit so it's not identical. It's crazy. This is one of those good songs. This, I think this is my summer vibe song. This or Ray of Solar. I would say Ray of Solar because I've listened to it more since it came out. But Ray of Solar is my summer vibe track. Skoda went to bankruptcy and VW bought the brand like 30 years ago. Oh, that's pretty crazy actually. Probably explains why a lot of the cars are very similar between VW and Skoda. But to be fair, when you're in an industry where the whole industry is starting to look identical to each other, cars that you make yourselves are all going to look even more similar. Like a lot, you look at some of the electric SUVs that are coming out now, a lot of them are very identical and they're coming from different brands. I think the only company that actually has like their own design is Fish Brothers, where most of their vehicles are completely separate. You look at Fiat, Fiat is completely different to like other companies. You got Ferrari, obviously Ferrari is completely separate brand. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Renault is under the Fish Brothers brand, which is also owned which is Dacia as well. I found uh, it really weird because they use the Dacia Duster in Dakar, right? But they rebranded it as the Renault Duster. 
Because they wanted Renault's name on it, not Dacia, which is kind of confusing. So why didn't they just make the Duster a Renault car? Right? Well, no. Conf confusion. Complete confusion. I don't think Renault's actually owned by Fish Brothers now that I think about it. Probably not. Oh well. Whoa! Nice slide there. DC is a sub brand for Renault. Yeah. I got an email and I couldn't read it because my sleeve is too far down my wrist. No, stop telling me to get moving. My watch is telling me I'm fat. Alfa Romeo is also a sub brand for Renault. Oh, I did not know that. So why does the Alfa Romeo team exist? And because obviously Alpine is a sub brand of Renault again, but that's also their sort of sports car division. Oh, last year. Okay, that's fair enough. That's quite recent then. I tell myself that I'm fat. <laughs> I tell myself that all the time, but my watch tells me that as well. So. Do do. But yeah, that's a little bit confusing. Why then? Uh, that might explain then why Alfa Romeo is pulling out. And we could actually might end up seeing Alpine rebrand to Alfa Romeo if they're owned by the same company. And then see... Because um, obviously Alpine hasn't been doing great, so they'll probably want to rebrand. Good time to rebrand is Alfa Romeo. Uh, and then also probably end up seeing Sauber branding as the Audi team. Because I know that they've done that. And I think Porsches get... No, Porsche isn't getting one. Um, there's another team, though, that looks like they're wanting in. Why in this track an FM7 does have blocked pit exit? So, for some reason... And I don't think it's just FM7. I think it's Forza Motorsport in general. They don't bother a lot with pit lanes. Um, if you look at Motorsport... All of the motorsports, actually. Even Motorsport 7, the advertising shows pit crews, but they didn't have pit crews. Motorsport 8, they've shown pit crews, but chances of them actually having pit crews, second to none, they probably won't have pit crews. Um, but beyond that, I think they just don't bother. So what they did, rather than programming in, oh, you've got to drive all the way down that first corner on the runoff of that pit lane. They just put you straight out onto the track. I think it's stupid. And it's just laziness on the developers. But they've done it for every single Forza game. Especially on this track. Like, if you look here, it's completely unlocked here, which is where it will allow you to drive back onto the track. And then they've just got that bit there.
Yeah, it's a little bit strange. It's just a lack of programming. I can't be bothered to do it properly. I don't think it's lack of knowledge though, because a lot of the guys that work on Forza are fairly knowledgeable. I just think it's a little bit lazy development. We see a lot of that in video games. <sighs> Level 28 now though. So we're gonna get a little bit of a bonus there. Race proven technology. Ooh, are we starting to see S class cars? Probably not. It will probably still be A class. Because I think S class is level 30 when they start doing the S class cars. Anyways, we get the choice of the Viper SRT10. No. The DB9 Coupe. Maybe. The F430. Maybe. The Corvette Z06. Nope. And the Ford GT. Nope. So I'm going to go for. I like a good old Ferrari, so I'm going to take the Ferrari. Yo, Zeno, welcome back! How are you today? Your local sim racing god has returned. He has. He hath returned. I'm sat there trying to say the word, Forza, to my watch. And it's like, Forza. F-O-R-C-E-R. -E I'm like, was that even a word in the English dictionary? Wasn't know where it was, but sure. Who's up? Don't drink coffee. Chew the coffee bean. Yes, because that's totally... It is a Japanese brand. What? What's a Japanese brand? Forza's not Japanese. Oh, we're on about Samsung. Yeah, Samsung is from, uh, I think it's South Korean. So, Samsung's South Korean, um, and it's pretty much the biggest brand out of Korea. Um... Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, Samsung is Korean. Apple is American, but it's made in China. I think everything's made in China now. It's just made in China. A little bit of a drift there. <laughs> North Korea is more cool. What the fuck's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Everybody is made in China. Humanity was made in China. Wow, 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 wow. Air was made in China. Yo, you know that oxygen shit that you breathe? Well, that was made in China. Oh, look at that drift there. Loving it.
<laughs> oh, I can't make that joke. That's not good. Oh. Oh, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Chinese bike product. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm genuinely curious why there's 300, 200, 100 meter boards there. Nobody breaks on that section of track because you're going onto a circuit, a speedway. Do you know what? I've really... I, I've had so many Chinese meals the past few weeks. Second half is essentially a long speed corner. And yeah, it's just speed. It's just non-stop speed. <laughs> yes, as long as it's not that, it should be fine. Love me, love me. I need to fix slots on the stream avatars. I need to fix the slots and make sure the. Uh, percentages for the slot for work. Oh, actually, I might have fixed it. Might have already done that. Imagine eating a car, you'd be full of iron. I mean, technically speaking, there's a shit ton of iron in your body already. Unless you have an iron deficiency, in which case, rip. Good luck standing up fast. <laughs> but I want to be Iron Man! It is iron deficiency where you feel dizzy when you stand up really quickly, right? I'm not thinking of something else, am I? Oh, well. Oh, there's a hot air balloon on that building. ADHD, bro. <laughs> Look at my super fast Nissan. I love streamer. So cool. Look what I can do, chat. Look what I can do! I can do this! I can put my car there. Whoa! Now that's how you drive. My car's in timeout. It's stuck. <laughs> it's stuck on the <laughs> It's gonna stay there. Until the timeout runs. It's basically a timeout. So. It's so cool. Is this fast and furious? Yes. This is furious and fast. Bath rally. 
Yo, would you like to have a bath? <laughs> Yo, Tropical Nebula, what up? Bro's now ahead of me in the Forza series. God damn it. Yes, I am ahead. Dun, dun, dun. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> How are you doing today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Welcome to the stream. I need some jumping from a building. It is. It is jumping from thy building. And it's going to fall from thy building at some point. <laughs> Change gear. <laughs> I keep forgetting to do that. Oh no, I can't do that. I tried. I'm still stuck up there. Just woke up. West Coast USA time zone. You love to see it. We love to see it. So yeah, I. Tonight, I'm probably going to put out a new schedule, ready for the next week in a bit. Um, I'm not going to, like, pre-make any YouTube pages, because for this week, I want to test just me making the stream page, and then just straight up starting the stream. So, I want to see how that goes. So, I won't be scheduling... I'll just tell people in Discord what time I'm going to go live. Oh! And just as I finish, my car falls from the sky. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. 24,000 credits. Honestly, the amount of money that you earn in this game is unreal. So, being able to buy cars, not going to be an issue for me at all. I actually don't know what flavor I'm going to have later. I've almost run out of blue raspberry. I've almost run out of blue raspberry sneak and I'm very sad. Because blue raspberry is actually really good. But uh, I'm probably going to get a tub of raspberry lemonade next and then I might uh, restock a little bit of blue raspberry. Get another blue raspberry tub after that. Raspberry lemonade is so good though. And now, 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 you save them. Yeah. Absolutely loving this game. By the way, guys, if you do want to uh, help support the channel, feel free to drop a like. Greatly appreciate it. If you're not already subscribed, don't forget that subscribe button. And if you want to help support the channel financially, as uh, YouTube is a very expensive thing now, especially for me. I keep spending money on it. But uh, if you do want to help support, we have the channel memberships. If you already subscribed, create <laughs> No, don't do that. YouTube will get me in trouble. We have channel memberships, which come with all sorts of different perks. Like early access, members exclusive content. 
And uh, if you subscribe to those higher tiers, you actually get some free merch as well. Make sure to read the small print. <laughs> Give me your entire stock. <laughs> in a Stroopoff. Oh, those, those, um, like, caramel things from the Netherlands, right? I think they are. Hines with a channel membership! Welcome to the Silver Tier! Woohoo! Pretty much for the silver tier. <laughs> I appreciate the uh, I appreciate the channel membership. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hines is now a member. I think there's actually, um, what's it, um, I believe one of the perks is actually having access to some of the old series that I've done, that I've archived. One of those series is actually the original Forza Horizon 4 series. Yes, I archived my first YouTube series that I ever did, but uh, that's because I'm going to be refreshing it with a new one. And you can still see the series if you're a channel member. Yeah, that one was extremely cringe, so uh, I, I, I made it member exclusive. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> and now... good content. I beg to differ. <laughs> you say you love me. Yeah, that's the watch after. It gets the clicks. So bad. Not so bad. This is a good drum and bass remix of this song. My tea's gone cold, I'm wondering why I got out of bed at all. Morning rain clouds up my window. I don't actually know the lyrics. I'm 
just sort of assuming that that's what they are. We've got one more lap after this one. Nino, Nino, Nino. Sirens outside my house. Uh oh. The coppers are coming to get you! Zeno go? Zeno disappeared. He came back and disappeared like that. This is motionless in white. I'm not too sure. Way. All right, nice one. And uh, yes, it is motionless in white. I'm gonna play this one though. Hines, you'll know this song. You're the one that told me that it was a good song, even though I'd already heard it. But you told me it was a good song, so you should know this one. Is it cold? Uh, it's not too cold. Not in the UK anyways. Oh, and uh, here is our next one. Next car. I'm going to be taking the V12 Vantage because it's a beauty. Why are you lying? Why are you lying, Hans? You know this song. You know this song's good. Such a banger. Roy's having the time of his life right now. It's such a tune. <laughs> I should probably focus on driving. Do you know the funny thing is, I didn't see any advertising for this song at all. I just saw it on my music app and was like, Ah, oh, Chase and Satis has got a new song. Played it. Absolutely vibe with it straight away. Didn't see any pre-release footage, no nothing. Just vibe. As soon as it came out. Did 
this and now VT's vibing as well. Is that guy that made that? weird throat singing song on TikTok that went viral. It was quite catchy though. be worse timing. Wow, I'll put the night foot being below. This is a good tune. Right, hopefully the rest of these laps can be a little smoother. Two perfect turns. Very nice, I'll take that. It does, it really loves sliding, but it's also really enjoyable, uh, and it's actually quite easy to control as well, so. Whoop! See, I feel like if Skrillex actually went into making drum and bass instead of dubstep, he could be the best drum and bass artist in the world. Because this is a very sort of drum and bass inspired dubstep song. And it proper slaps. Like, I, th I think if he made drum and bass, and only made drum and bass, he'd be the best drum and bass artist out there. Easily. This car just doesn't accelerate after like 90 miles an hour. It's got nothing beyond 90 miles an hour. a tune. Right, we've got two more laps left to go. Obviously the rest of this one and one more lap. 
who's sending me messages. It's Xbox sending me emails. Wow. Shattered. I think I'm going to finish this championship. Uh, and then probably finish the stream there. Maybe we might do one of the D class championships as well. We'll see how it goes. Woo! What a drift! So good. This thing's proper sliding. Ah! Hmm. I should get a mech yawn emote every time I yawn. No, shattered. Absolutely shattered. I caught it. I was going to go on again. <laughs> I caught it. The age of Discord server is dead. What do you mean the Discord server is dead? It's only dead because you guys don't type in it. <laughs> That's how Discord servers work. AGC is somewhat alive. But uh, we got quite a few updates coming soon for AGC, probably in the next week or so. Um, I'm bringing back Photo of the Week competition, but this time it's going to be Photo of the Month, because uh, doing a competition every week, kind of crazy. So Photo of the Month is going to be coming back. It's going to start September. It was going to start August, but... That left me like a day to organize it all. So, it started September. Yeah, people haven't been taking many photographs lately, so. <laughs> <laughs> you do come up with some pretty, pretty solid images. Either. Gran Turismo is such a phenomenal game to actually get some photos. You see the OnlyFans Porsche GT3, yeah? I mean, to be fair, I do find it kind of ironic that OnlyFans as a company they advertise themselves as like they're not a porn platform but like 99% of the people that go on OnlyFans and sell content on OnlyFans sell pictures of their ass or pictures of their you know what so it, it is kind of funny that OnlyFans 
don't see themselves as a porn platform. <laughs> and it's also kind of funny that all these other companies don't see them as that either, when they clearly are. It's, it's very ironic, but... Oh, well. I don't think it's disgusting, like... It's not, really. When you think about it, it is just a company advertising. But... I don't know. Yeah. The platform itself was not intended for porn. But, obviously, it became that, in a way. So... A little bit like Twitch. Twitch used to be for gamers, and now it's for e-girls that want to show off their tits. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.